today I'd like to talk to you about this very interesting book called The Word Eater. It is 141 pages. This book is a fantasy book and it does build a little bit of a world inside of itself that you do have to kind of figure out and get used to. Saying that, I found it very enjoyable and interesting. One thing I'd like to note is the title pages. Each title page is it's a bookworm's desk calendar. So each one of the books is either changed to include the word worm or the, t the quote is chosen because it has a worm in it. All of the books that they chose are children's books. There's Alice in Wonderland, there is Winnie the Pooh, Charlotte's Web, E.B. White's Char Charlotte's Web. Another thing is this book is a little bit of a challenge for young students, I would say advanced. Let me give you an example of the introduction. So this is the first chapter, Monday, the 1st of October. A yellowish cocoon about the size of a corn kernel twitched and rolled in the mud. A fat worm sucking up leaf mold felt the cocoon's vibrations through the mud and stopped eating. Quickly, she drummed a message through the ground to the others. A birth! A birth! Within seconds, 253 worms, the whole Lumbercus clan, squirmed out of their tunnels and gathered into a circle around the cocoon with their leader, the great Lumbra. So the whole first part is about the worm being born, the worm from the picture, and it's, as you can hear, it's a little bit complicated and you have to get past that to get to the people part. Fantasy is always a little bit of a challenge, but if you like fantasy, it pays off. 